Evening, fellow FGO fans. All right, so um, this is the deal, folks. I'm about to head to bed, but it's after midnight here on the East Coast, and the new banner just dropped. And for anybody that doesn't know what's going on, I say, what rock have you been hiding under? Assuming you're not Chunky Jeffrey, because, you know, he just uh, doesn't get into this as much. So, for him, this is going to be a, you know, just another one of those uh, gotcha rolls that I do all the time. But for my diehard fans, and my apologies once again, uh, this is an impromptu video to um, my fan who uh, I just did not look up the username for uh, him yet. And I will do a shout out for him soon. Um, including anybody else that leaves a comment to this video or any future videos, because trust me, if you haven't seen the quartz count yet, folks, 184, we're doing more videos. But this is, um, excuse me, I got bugs in my house, guys, and I mean little gnats and stuff like that, and they're being a problem. So uh, my problem, my apologies if it looks like I'm just taking a momentary distraction to smack something. It probably means I got a bug on my arm. Um, some of these bugs, I tell you, I cannot figure out how they got in here. Let's just say um, the heat has not been my friend when it comes to uh, bugs. I don't know about where you guys live, but uh, sometimes the uh, uh, what is the house flies in here just get nasty. So it's it's that time of season. It's getting hot again. It wasn't exactly a cool day, so of course. And now I've got the windows open to try to cool things off, so all the bugs are getting in. So they're being a distraction, but. Going back to what we were talking about, guys, check it out. 184. I caved in. I told Chunky Jeffrey I was going to. I bought the Max that we're allowed to buy because of this summoning, folks. The big one. The big one. BB and the Mysterious Hero in X. Um, Foreigner and even Meb, um, which is going to be uh, good because that's another Saber in our category. Um some really good stuff coming up um now just for everybody's um knowledge base um 184 uh, quartz means that i should be able to roll um six times if i'm not mistaken six times three uh yep that's 18 so uh over 180 means we get at least six rolls we might end up using all the quartz here's the catch 22 in that once it's gone, it's pretty much gone. I will not probably be able to find, uh, maybe I might be able to find another for maybe another 40 bucks because of the money that Chunky Jeffrey and his wife gave me. Um, I don't know how I'd do that. Let's just say I had to dig deep and I don't even know. I'm banking on the parts for my car not costing a lot so um it, we all knew this was going to happen i knew this was going to happen i might have to skip the next summer thing that comes at the end of the month i also am banking on the fact folks that in just about um what do we we just passed over yeah we just passed to the 10th today i'm banking on 10 days from now bonus from my company and that's going to help out with a lot of stuff not going to be a huge bonus, but it's still a bonus. Also, there is places I can borrow money from if things get desperate, but I try not to go down that road, and we won't talk about that too much because I don't want to be borrowing money from nobody. Um, and no, it's never Chunky Jeffrey and his wife. I never borrow money from them, uh, though they are still offering me money, so who knows, money might be coming my way from them. But we're talking about other ways if things get desperate. Um... But I try not to get down that particular road. I looked at my budget. Um, let's just say, like I said, it's one of those things that let's hope um, things work out well. And why are we doing this impromptu video? Well, because it just passed over midnight. It's about 12.15 um, right now. And we're going to do one roll right now to see how our luck turns out. Because why not? And now, uh, am I going to do any pre-warm-up stuff? No. Is it probably going to come back and bite me in the ass? Most likely, yes. But we're going to take our chances and see if we get lucky because of the fact that it just 
dropped here in North America on the East Coast. So here we go, folks. Let's get to it. And just to be specific, guys, as soon as this is done, I'm going to finalize everything with you guys, and I am going to be off to bed. Hopefully, I'm not going to be too wired from maybe some good luck. Blah. Terrible. I've used a lot of that already. That's, well, that'll be more cannon fodder. Well, there's the All Night Fever one. Getting more of those, at least I can... Uh, uh, merge together a couple of them. Okay, here comes our first servant. Probably nothing spectacular. Assassin means nothing. We're looking for some very rare class types here. A moon cancer. I've never even seen a moon cancer before. As far as summoning a foreigner. Uh, never seen one of those. Um, you know, we're looking for some rare stuff. Um... Like I said, uh, if this one goes south, it's just going to be one of those things I'll have to suck it up and deal with it. Hey, I don't have one of him yet. Nice. It's another event um, craft essence. There's the four star. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, another one. Oy vey. Come on. I'm not, like I said, I'm not expecting much, guys. Would have been great if it was a med, but I did not see that happening. A lot of craft essences tonight disappointing well 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 looks like we're gonna get a lot of gold cards tonight guys just not gonna be what we wanted all right so actually I was wrong my mistake guys I'm so caught up in all the new and we got two of the same new one that uh, you can tell we did not get a lot of servants uh, that makes me almost want to roll again and I think I might um, Let's check out what our new one's going to bring us, guys. Increase NP gain by 5%. NP strength, 5%. And good for gill bucks. So, not bad. Um, I've heard rumors, guys, that if you do multiple rolls in a row, it works good for you. We're going to take... Even though this didn't look like it worked out very well, we're going to take another shot at one. Um, just because I'm really depressed at how... Few servants came out of that, even if they were crappy ones. So let's take another shot, guys. Um, I just, I would like to see some more servants. Unfortunately, um, if nothing good comes out of this for servants, we're going to have to, um, yeah, so far I'm not even liking what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely do my pre-warm-up a lot more often for the next couple of rolls because we need some good luck if nothing comes out of this. And we are going to talk, depending on how this goes, guys, a little bit at the end. That was probably our guaranteed four. We're definitely probably going to talk at the end of this. Although, I wasn't planning on it, but it's looking rather likely that I'm going to make some observations. We'll see what happens. Come on. Ugh, at least it's a rider, I suppose, but give me a break. Nice gold card would be nice. Don't think I see it happening tonight.
This roll looks terrible. Okay, everybody notice only one on this one. And once again, it was terrible as far as servants go, except that maybe, we, no, what did we, yeah, we only got like four servants. That's one more than we got last time. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna make for observations for you poor guys out there. They're gonna be doing this much more than I am. Okay, I can't guarantee this is gonna happen for everybody. But once again, feel free to comment in the comment section about what your luck is. By the way, I also want to point out that this video, I probably will not be uploading it till the morning because I do not want to take the time to uh, do a whole bunch of stuff to get this put on YouTube. So anyway, guys, you saw what I saw. Less, it looked like a whole lot less servants coming up. You saw nothing really good came up. So I got a couple observations. One, I... I'm starting to definitely think that um, our pre-warm-up exercises do a lot to uh, impact our luck. Uh, even if I try and fail, it seems like I tend to get a lot more gold cards. Um, so I think that adds a lot. Secondly, I'd like to point out that I showed you guys. It looked like to me that the rates for servants were down. And in now you might look at the rates as they show in the summon info and go, well, you're supposed to get more craft essences and servants. Ah, no, 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 no. Other people have seen me do it before. You've seen me roll, folks. You've seen me roll and get like six servants and four craft essences or sometimes all servants. We've all done it with friend summons. Did you notice that out of two rolls, the number of servants were down significantly? And the craft essences were up. I believe, once again, I can't prove it, but based on things I've been hearing, things I've been seeing, that they are rigging the servants in these events to be much harder to get. I believe that it's not just the five-star servants. I believe it's most of the servants. Now, this, this particular banner... I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be even harder than it was previously. Like I said, guys, I had one guy that said 1,200. took him 1,200 quarts before he rolled a Joan in the last banner. Freaking stupid. Anybody else wants to tell me otherwise, go for it. But I believe most people's experiences will speak for themselves that they are rigging it harder than the usual odds in the usual banner. I understand. SSRs, like BB, harder to get. SRs, definitely harder to get. I also have proof, video proof, two five-star Neros in one roll. Somebody can argue that that was a fluke, but good luck. Other people have watched other videos I put out, and I've had some real dudes... A little while ago, I got a Hercules and uh, uh, Ushiwaka at the same exact role. Two four-star servants at the same role. Now tell me, after seeing stuff like that come up, that it doesn't seem like some of these banners are more rigged than others. Folks, sometimes when you go to a carnival, they do glue the bottles down. If you don't know, know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about when you go to one of those carnivals and they have the milk bottles in the back and you throw the ball at them and it seems like they won't knock over. Sometimes they rig them. Sometimes, they use, I've done a ring, I've seen a ring toss before, folks. I've seen a ring toss. And they found out that that carnival where they were doing the ring toss, where I, what I'm remembering from my childhood, they found out that carnival was rigging stuff. And the thing is, is that guess what, folks? Sometimes, when you're tossing the ring, they make the rings intentionally too small to fit over the pegs. Or sometimes, they make the pegs just slightly too big so that if you walked over with the ring and tried to put it over one of these pegs that you're supposed to be throwing the ring around, you would find that it won't actually fit. So the thing is, folks, is that sometimes people rig things. And, what, and why do they do it? Because they know that you can't prove they don't let you in the backdrop to see. The, has anybody ever noticed that 
the only people that ever can prove what the rates are here is the people that are spending the money. They don't ever prove the rates to us for gotchas, the company that's putting it out. So, some of you might say I'm bitter. Thing is, folks, is remember, I've had some very good rolls. But, I'm letting the evidence speak for itself. Go around, check out some other videos. See what the odds are on some of these banners, folks. These, these, these summertime banner. Most of the time, with the exception that I do admit that I got on one of my, I got, what was it? I don't think it was my first roll with the Nero. But you got to remember, folks, there was one thing in particular about that Nero. It was from last summer. I believe the drop rates are better when they're from the previous year. I seem to notice that here, I wonder if I went back and looked at videos from 2019 when people were rolling for those summer servants, those, you know, during the second summer event, you know, the one from last year in 2019. If I went back and looked at videos from 2019, I wonder if I'd find that when that event was new, if people were having the same bad fortune getting servants, getting new servants, the new swimsuit servants, I bet I would. It wouldn't surprise me. I personally believe, folks, I have a lot of respect for the company that puts this out, but I do personally believe that when they know they're going to make a buttload of money on these, they make sure that the ring does not fit around the peg. They make sure that the bottles are nailed down instead of glued down to the thing. They make sure that when you're trying that carnival game, something's just a little off. And can you ever prove it? Nope. Not unless you work there. So, feel free to prove me wrong. But I bet if you go around the internet, you'll find that most people are having rotten, rotten luck at getting the good servants from this. And I'm telling you, folks, I don't think the odds are what they say they are. I don't think they are. And the thing is, folks, is that you know what? They'd probably tell us, we're not required to tell you nothing. You'll have to take our word on it. Oh, yeah. Because everybody is so honest nowadays. Really, folks? <laughs> really? Everybody is so honest. Uh-huh. Remember, folks, we're in a we're in a problem area right now. We're in a virus. Um, I can't say the word, folks, because of YouTube and them um, targeting people. But you know what I'm talking about. We're in a bad time in history. And I think some people are using certain things to their advantage to get a little more. Get a little more of the greenback. The moolah. The dough that makes it go. So the thing is, is that I think, just based on what I've seen, that we're all going to have a hard time with this and we're all going to be spending a lot of money. So we'll see what happens. I say that. Next roll I do. Um, I could end up, might end up doing one in the morning. Sometimes the mornings are better. Um, something great could happen. Who knows? But I can tell you one thing, guys. We only can do four more rolls. And that's why I could afford the extra one tonight, even though it went horribly wrong. And uh, the thing is, is that I am definitely going to do some of my pre-warm-up stuff. Get that super great success. Particularly super successes seem to work better than great successes for some reason. I don't know why. And see if we can get some good stuff out of this. Because any number of these servants. Uh, I need a foreigner bad. I need a moon cancer bad. Uh, these things just don't come up all the time. And they know that. They know that, folks. When they were making the odds on this. So keep your eyes open because I bet money. I think we're all going to be betting money that we're not going to see the odds very good. Now I'd like to. I'm, I'm going to try to go see I Stark, see a couple of these other guys, these big YouTubers that do fake grand order stuff. See how long it takes them to get one. But I just had a funny feeling, folks, that if you look at all the fan base together and then look at how much we had to spend on this. I think you're going to find that if, if somebody did the math, they'd find that the odds, they don't match what they're telling us. Just a theory I have. 
And I'm just warning everybody right now. But I'm going to be just as bad as you are out there if you're going to be playing this game and doing this, folks. So, you know what? I'm just as bad as you. So, we'll have to wait and see. But I just wanted to comment on that, guys, because I think I smell something rotten in the water. Oh, yeah. So, as always, guys, stay healthy, stay safe, be good to one another, and I will see you guys on the next video, which, like I said, we'll be uploading this one in the daylight. So the next video we do could be anything in the next 24 hours. But we will do a few more of these, and I'd like to see if I could have enough quartz left over to go back and do the... Um, uh, do the uh, Joan of Arc that I didn't get from let's see oops uh, I forget how this works from this one but we're gonna have to wait and see because I don't have infinite money and I'm telling you folks sometimes they I think want to make it hard on purpose because you know why folks not only do you have to spend more money to get these this year but if you don't get these this year then they know you're gonna spend a lot of money next year too Cha-ching, cha-ching. You know what, folks? Just to give you one last example. A couple months ago, car dealerships started saying to everybody, hey, we'll sell you a car. No financing, no this, no that. For the next, what, six months? Three, six months? Some, I guess it depends on what car dealership it was. You know why, folks? Because they knew that in a few months, they could bank on your money. All that money you'd have to owe back to them. And if you didn't, they could repossess your car. And get all the money back for that. Unless you crashed it into a wall. So I'm telling you folks. Nothing in life is for free. Ever. But in the meantime guys. I'm off to bed. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I lost about a half an hour roughly of sleep time. But you know what folks. I'm coming up to two days off. Two days on. Today, Monday, Tuesday, and then I am off for two days, and I'm going to sleep well on those days. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.